Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, so the last video I posted was like a month ago when I started school, and now it's two months in or a month in. And the reason why I haven't uploaded is because school has been driving me crazy. Nursing school is hard, but nursing school online I feel is even harder. So today I decided to do a video as you guys can see my hair changing and also I dyed a piece of my hair at the back I bleached it I don't know if you guys can see it but yeah so nursing school online is even harder and honestly guys I don't know if I'm gonna pass one course but I'll tell you guys about it um later on but yeah that's what I wanted to say so just stay tuned until I come back and I actually look decent okay so hey guys welcome back to my channel again as i said from before um so basically i'm just coming back to the youtube channel to explain how my first about six seven weeks have been for me for school this is the seventh week it's supposed to be the seventh week but we have a reading week so from monday to friday we have no school the week before i had Three, no, let me think. I had a quiz on Monday. I had a midterm on Monday. I had a, um, had a quiz on Monday, midterm on Monday. I had a midterm on Wednesday. Then I had a midterm on Thursday. Then I had a test on Friday. So I had like five um, things I need to get good on. <clears throat> so let me just explain. So most of my classes, I need like a 60, 65, maybe even a 70 to pass, which for the most part, I am over those, um, those average marks or the whatever. But for math now, math is my hardest subject ever, ever since... I was in school, math has been my hardest subject. Like, but we need an 80 in that class to pass. And right now I'm sitting at a 75. The last test I had gotten a 75 on and my mark dropped 0.2%. So yeah, I did make a meeting with her on Thursday to talk about my progression in the course. Plus I have a tutoring thing tomorrow with, with um, but it's just sort of like a random person who's in the program, but is like in the program, like a senior level. So yeah, that's that. Um, <clears throat> other than that, that's pretty good, but I'm gonna like tell you guys something. So I'm just going to share a couple of my marks that I had gotten. So let's start. On my midterms, what I had gotten on my midterms, because I really can't even remember. Um, so I had a midterm. My first midterm was communications. I still haven't gotten that mark back yet, but I got an assignment back, and I think I got a 76% on, on an assignment and 100% on something else. Um, no, that's not it. That was my midterm that I had last week, Monday. Um, the next midterm I had was um, my anatomy and physiology quiz. I got a 50%. Guys, I don't know how I did that. I don't know how I got a 50%. That was just me and a distracting environment, I think. So that's why I think I got that. But I should not have gotten that mark. It's so weird. But in that class right now, I have a 67, which is really bad. But I am studying for the test that's due. That's on Monday. So I should be able to get my mark up in that class which i am really hoping for and it will happen because i'm studying pretty hard and right now in um, anatomy and physiology we're kind of in the state of um the skeletal system and joints which i think are pretty self-explanatory as long as you know the definitions and the terms and you should be fine <sighs> oh on my world development midterm oh my gosh guys this day was so stressful. Oh my gosh. So out of the blue, 
my Wi-Fi decided to just cut off and go red and just blank and decline and everything. So I emailed my teacher the day of the midterm, like 30 minutes before saying, um, my Wi-Fi is gone out. Um, like, um, yeah, yeah, my Wi-Fi has gone out and I'm using my hotspot right now. So yeah, I'm just worried. But my teacher did a really, <laughs> my teacher did a really good job of telling me, oh, it's okay. Um, um, she added 15 more minutes to the exam, the midterm exam, but I did end up kind of with a bad mark. I got a 20 out of 40, which is a 70%. And I studied really hard for that midterm. So, and I feel like, cause I had so much anxiety cause I was afraid that my hotspot on my phone was going to go out. So I was like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. But I did pull it together in the middle, um, middle or so of the test or the exam. And then I just started answering like a bunch of questions right, which I knew. So yeah, so I got a 70 on that exam. Next was my healing practices exam. Everybody had a problem with the healing practices exam because um, the teacher really told us more terms and definitions of stuff, but she never really gave us any theory. So she gave us like one or two classes of theory, maybe like two questions. And she gave us like 30 minutes to go over it and we were done and she still didn't go to the next one. So yeah, so it was kind of bad, but I did get a 73 on that exam, which is still kind of bad. Um, but it's fine because it's still a decent mark. And as I said, I got that on my comp test, 100% on something else. And my midterm for skills lab. Um, skills lab is more like a class where we learn about um, transferring patients and um, vital signs and all that. Um, that's what we learn. That's what we learn in skills lab. And it's one of my probably one of my favorite classes so far. Um, yeah, it's just one of my favorite classes so far. Before I didn't really like the class because it seemed like so much information coming straight out of high school and not knowing one thing about nursing um, about nursing at all. It was kind of really overwhelming. But after um, being in the class and studying and going over PowerPoints and all that, I, I kind of started to like the class because overall, I do like learning about anatomy and, and, and um, vital signs. It's kind of fun doing that stuff. So after that, the class kind of became like one of my favorite classes. So in this class, I had gotten on my midterm exam, I had gotten an 86%. Let me just make sure I, that's what I got. I got a 40 out of 45. Yeah, so I, I got an 88%. So close to a 90, but it's okay. I'm still good. Um, And then, yeah, so that's basically what I got on that test. And um, midterm exam, and that's pretty good to me. Um, Yeah, it's really good, actually. I did really study hard for that test. This teacher is such a great teacher. Um, She really gave us a whole outline of what we should mostly focus on. And clearly for the outline, that's what I did focus on. And I got an amazing mark, which that is all thanks to the teacher for giving us an outline of what's going to be on the midterm exam. Because sometimes it can be we can be bombarded by a bunch of information, especially being online and having to self-study yourself. It's super hard. So the fact that you did that was really amazing and really helped a lot. Um, but yeah, that's for skills lab. And then for my math test, we don't have an exam for math, which is pretty good, but we do have tests, four tests, and that those four tests determine whether you're not gonna whether or not you're going to pass. And I'll explain later on if you pass or not what happens but um yeah so I got a 45 out of 60 which is a 75 on this one so in this class I have a 75 percent overall as I said my mark dropped from a 76 to a 75 drop 0.2 so it's like 75.8 that's so annoying but it's whatever um yeah, that's for math class. And now I'm going to explain like what happens if you don't pass math class. So for me, for math class, for the overall grade of, of um, everything that you do, you need to have an 80% um, to pass the class. And I'm clearly sitting at a 75 right now. But if you don't pass the class, then you, if you fail the class, which is failing a class is still a 75 if you guys don't get that, which I'm still shocked about. If you don't pass the class, then you get put on probation. 
and which means that you're gonna have to repeat the course in semester two and your, your semester two which is supposed to start in january for me will be pushed all the way back to september so i won't be starting semester two until september 2021 and in january 2021 i'll be repeating math and re and doing two other elective courses like social um, studies or social humanities and art or something like that just something random like that which makes no sense but yeah so that's that and I really don't think I'm going to be passing math honestly because my teacher is absolutely horrible um she just reads through powerpoints she doesn't let us understand anything she doesn't let us ask questions I asked her after the test like what can I do to improve my mark like where did I go wrong on the test and she told me that unfortunately she's not reviewing any um questions of the test um which just makes no sense because you already know all the answers and i'm the student and i want to know what i did wrong so i don't understand why that's hard for her but whatever that's just so annoying but i did get my psychology paper back which is worth 20 percent 10 percent or 25 percent i don't know i don't remember but I got a 17.25 out of 20, which is an 86. Oh my gosh, I'm going to have to go back on the calculator. Yeah, so it's an 86%, which is really good. It took me a lot of time to do it. It's a seven-page thing. And then I did get one of my clinical preparations. Clinical preparation is just getting us ready for clinical, like how to, um, like therapeutic communication, communication, S-bars, um... Um, case studies and using like the nursing assessment signs and sim symptoms and nursing diagnosis and all that like that those steps yeah so I got my care plan back and I got a 14 out of 15 which is a 93 I remember because I did but yeah so that's where I really stand right now and I will tell you my grades in the classes so Right now in Skills Lab, I'm sitting at an 84. Um, role Development, I'm sitting at a 70. Because she still hasn't marked my um, essay paper yet. So, it's yeah. Um, in Practical Nursing, <laughs> okay. Um, in Clinical Preparation, I'm sitting at a 22 out of 23, which is like a 90-something a or 80-something. I don't It's mostly 90-something, but I don't remember where. You guys can calculate that by yourself. Math, I'm sitting at like a 91 out of 120 because every math test is at a 60. So I'm sitting at 91 out of 20, which is like a 75. Um, in psychology, I'm sitting at a 44 out of 55, which is an A. In healing practices, I'm sitting at a 73 because she still hasn't marked my case study with my group. Um, in communications, I'm sitting at an 80. And anatomy and physiology, I'm sitting at a 67. So yeah. Yeah, so that's basically it. Um, and also what I did want to go over in this video that I'm probably going to post today or tomorrow is how to how I basically study for my midterms and all my tests and just overall. So in the beginning of school, I honestly, I didn't really study that much. And this is because I just felt like it was high school like high school you know how high school you can just get by on tests and still pass with a good mark even though you don't really spend dedicated time to actually study this was not the case for college especially having eight courses online it's very very draining and very very just annoying so what i did to study is i basically deleted all my social media except for youtube twitter which i'd never go on and snapchat and yeah so i deleted instagram tiktok and all that and i actually spent 10 hours studying every single day um especially because last week i had like a bunch of tests after test after test after test so i just really spent those 10 hours studying for my test and i i did get pretty good marks because if i didn't study for those tests i would not have gotten good marks um and i can say that for sure um yeah because i mostly in the first couple of weeks i mostly focused on math because i knew that was going to be one of my struggle subjects and it's it clearly it really is just basic math for nursing but i don't know if it's if she's a hard marker if she's like marking me off for not putting putting like lowercase m and uppercase l i don't know if that's what she's not marking me on or something but that would be kind of annoying if that was the case but um 
yeah so i just dedicated my time spending 10 hours a day i have two note taking books which is this one which i'm taking notes right now because i have a midterm next week i also have an anatomy test and i don't know if i have a psychology test i'm not sure but this is the book that i put all my notes in this is only for week one of pnc i'll go to my anatomy notes this is my anatomy notes um it's pretty self-explanatory it's easy for me to understand i remember everything almost everything that we talked about in here except for i don't really understand the steps for entramembrals uh, i can never say big words entramembrals <laughs> yeah so i just spent most of my time studying i bought flashcards so that i can go over because um i know someone who's a senior nurse in the program um she's studying to be an rn though um and she really did give me a lot of great 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 tips so i'm so grateful for her um and yeah and the only thing i'm struggling with is math math has definitely given me a lot of anxiety um yeah and it's not a game, but hopefully I pass. I hope, I really hope I do. Next thing we, we're doing is reconstitution of um, oral medic, no, not oral medication, um, liquid medication, I think it is. I'm not sure. Mm, but yeah, that's what we're doing next. And yeah, basically that's it. Nursing school is very hard. Um, it's very hard, but also kind of, if you have, if you can understand the work, then it becomes easy, but it's very hard if you just study for maybe two hours a day, and yeah, honestly, I've been really resting. I've been really taking a break. <laughs> I've really been taking a break, but I have been also studying for anatomy, and today I just started studying for clinical for the exam, and I just rewrite PowerPoints. Uh, understand it. I search up a lot of stuff. I rewrite the PowerPoints. I go over the PowerPoints. Um, I talk about it during the day, whether it's to my siblings or to my mom or whoever. That's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure to leave a comment, as I said from before, and subscribe if you want. You really don't have to. I really don't. You really don't. But and give a like to this video, and let's see if I pass math or not. The next time I come on here, oh, I don't think I explained one thing. If you drop the course before the due date to drop the courses for my college, then you can, you're not on probation, but you just have to do the course again, which is way better than being on probation. Clearly the word probation is bad. So yeah, I don't know if I explained that, but yeah, bye-bye.